Hello and welcome to a freezing morning in the Durham Dales. I'm up in the north with Jimmy and Emily from Atticus again and uh, they're taking me for a lovely bike ride around their local roads. It's a real feel of four degrees and, well, pissing it down. I love cycling. How did you know where to find me? What did you think you would see here? I live alone in the state you went out of I drink you down with my feet Hey, there's love that keeps me alive It ain't true that keeps me alive. You know you gave me some new kit yeah. And in the bag was a, a buff Yeah Now I realise why you put the buff in <laughs> You know, it's good to have options. What well, has a lot of water, careful. Oh, a river. Oh. Oh. It's actually not normally this wet. It's actually quite dry up in the, in the northeast. But it's always cold, yeah. So it's good to, you know, have the option to keep your face warm. So also I've once again grown a winter beard, but this one will probably stay for the whole year. It's just like forever now, forever beard. My face is freezing. I can't grow a proper beard. You can, can't you? Because I hang around you and Chris all and James too much. <laughs> Neanderthals. So actually, we're gonna, I'm going to go and show you take you to a South African beard uh, this afternoon. Let's well. go and see him. Yeah. yeah. The best bike shop in the world, uh -huh. I heard. They won that award. Yes, they yeah, did, yeah. yeah. In the galaxy. In the galaxy. And they've won it, like, continuously forever. I tell you what, I think we're going to have to invest in some mud guards I can't be sitting behind you like this. Oh! I don't care if the darkness is into your eyes Just save me a place in the hunger <laughs> Well, it all beads off, doesn't it? Yeah, they're all, um... DWR traits are the waterproof, which is needed. You're covered in shit, Emily. I know. So, quick ride done, uh, plan for today. Now, we're heading to the Atticus office. I'm gonna package an order for them, because why not? Quickly do that, because it needs to get done today. Then head over to Newcastle, check out the Backyard Bike Shop, which is the bike shop that is the best bike shop in the world or something, in the UK. Galaxy. I'm wearing your shoes. I'm wearing my shoes too. I'm gonna do your job now as well. Yeah. Okay. You've received stuff from us before, haven't you? Atticus drawstring bag. So, no, it doesn't just go straight in like that. Air comes out. You didn't get the air out enough. I didn't. There's another opportunity. Fired. Oh, yeah. Seat goes in. I didn't even get it out myself. Fired. Fired again. You're actually alright, this. Do you want a job? Work for you. Jimmy told me you're a horrible boss. Yeah, just someone's going to have an order that's been packaged by you. I know who it is. <laughs> So that was a whole day of work for you guys. This is work. <laughs> Being around you is an absolute chore. It requires many days off to recover. Right, where are we going now? The best bike shop in the, the universe. Galaxy, yeah. Galaxy. Technically Gateshead, not Newcastle. It's, it's not South Universe, mate. Universe is, that's just excessive. So you've been doing some events with these guys then? Uh, yeah, we did last Saturday. Just kind of hang out with them, met them, drank a load of alcoholic beverages because they got a bar as well. And yeah, it's just good fun, you know, getting to know everyone. My, my new friends. That's a friend. I'll be a friend. They write, well, yeah, but you live 240 miles away and spend three quarters of the year overseas. Point taken. <laughs> you can be friends with Jimmy. I don't really have a choice. We're colleagues, though, aren't we? So we're not allowed to socialise outside of working hours. What's the wheel? So my Cannondale has a really weird back end uh, AI or something or other where it's got some like offset thing. So I'm getting Nick to re dish my wheel or this wheel because it's super light so I can put on my uh, oh, cool. super apps. So in the summer this is like um it's kind of like a box park so all of these are like food venues. It's cool under there, isn't, isn't it? it? Really cool. Technically we're in Gateshead right now and then that's Newcastle right there. I'm from Atlanta, you throw me the ball and I scoop in the zone. They hit me up for a deal like it's something I do on the phone Just cause it's me in the studio don't mean I do it alone So apparently, according to Nick, so I don't know how uh, reliable that information is You can get from here the 16k directly to our office 100% off road You might have to like cross a couple of roads but as in like all of your actual riding is like it's off road yeah gravel and mud and single track and that kind of stuff so, is, so you, you claim crossing roads is allowed in like, team valley i've got about a hundred yards on road and that's the only bit you have to do from here all the way to our and then everything is crossing roads all the way to your office completely off road and so that's oh, like, uh, up to the t-junction outside your office so if you live in newcastle gravel bike is the way to go the amount of routes over here is just immense. We keep discovering new ones every every week. Yeah. Stuff that I've never known is yeah. No one's ever seen them before. They're just discovering them. Yeah. Like new planets. Like Christopher Columbus. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. Right. We weren't lying. 
That says, best bike shop in the galaxy. So what's the deal? Backyard bike shop. We started off as just a workshop and then started doing custom builds and now a bit of accessories. And then we introduced a coffee shop and our cocktail bar at night Nice. Uh, on the weekends. Just slowly, kind of organically trying to add more stuff. Do you get any rides finishing because there's a cocktail bar at the end? We've got the brewery next door as well. Oh. So that helps in the summer. Spoiled for choice. Uh, but yeah, so it's just quite a good clubhouse for rides. Yeah. And finish and kind of come back here. What's the cycling scene like up here in Newcastle? It's good. It's very diverse. You've got everything from complete beginners just doing on the road rides. Then we've got a few clubs that focus purely on racing. Uh, we try and do everything just social. Uh, so we've got our road rides and gravel rides. 50-50 split, I would say, um, but it's purely just to ride a bike, get back, get some beers, get some food, nothing, nothing serious. You sell bikes here as well? Yes. What stuff uh, do you start? Everything is custom, so we don't sell complete bikes. We kind of build everything as somebody wants it. So we do Sato, we do Cinelli, uh, we do Jake Golem for Titanium, we do Tomasini. Italian bikes. We stock all the major component brands. Wheels wise, we do Zip, we do Mesh, we do Scope, uh, Compact, Lightweight. But we can get in near, near enough anything. Yeah, yeah. So depending on what the customer is looking for, um, we'll just source it. The lads in the shop, all of us were making the coffee at first, but the problem was that obviously we know nothing about coffee. So we decided with the cafe to get proper baristas. It's easier to get them to learn about bikes than it is to get all of us to learn how to make it. And now coffee. they can make you a coffee. Exactly. Even better. Hardest worker here. <laughs> Jimmy, there's a cassette for you. A normal person's cassette. Yeah, J Jimmy's cassette. I think what you'll find is that most people would probably ride that. Just like people like you, which are the anomaly. What do you mean people like Go me? like, oh yeah, that's, that's a slow person's cassette. No, that's a normal person's cassette. If you want redished. I can't get this cassette off for a start. <laughs> You're gonna struggle with the novels, you know, if you don't get stronger. Thanks. Got a free cassette. You can add that to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>10 kilos. Maybe it's 14. Maybe it's one every grand you spend. Yeah, you get so a kilo. kilo, another kilogram. I'm joking, it's it quite light. We could have made it lighter if you went for tubs. Tubeless. And not a power meter. This is open in the summer on the weekend. 15 street food vendors, tap room, beer, cocktail bar, gin distillery. How do you pizza, get any work done? Mexican food. <laughs> These three change every month. So we get new ones every month in Shanty Town. These guys do cakes. It's exactly like Box Park. Yeah. Came up here to visit when we decided we were moving. We were like, we've managed to find the Shoreditch of the Northeast. Yeah. <laughs> Moved out of East, East London and found East, East London. London in the Northeast. It is really nice here and all, but I don't know if I could deal with the cold. It's this temperature at this time of year. What's it going to be like in proper deep winter? Uh, <laughs> take care, man. That really was the best bike shop in the galaxy. Oh, don't film me turning the car around in a. <gasps> Private car park, mate. On this the is, phone. This on is the phone. Come again. Bring Daisy next time. I will. Bring Daisy. Don't bring yourself. I'm suggesting Daisy's more fun than you. They hit me up for a deal like it's something I don't want to fuck. Just cause it's me in the studio.